Hi, thanks for using MyCourt Coach. I'm Sarah and I'll be your instructor today as we talk about the request for hearing regarding earnings assignment, also known as Form FL450. As with all our court forms, you want to start off by filling in your identifying case caption information at the top. Um, if you object to either the income withholding for support, that's Form FL195, or earnings assignment order for spousal or partner support, Form FL435, that has been filed and that you've been served with, you would file this form to get a hearing date to go over your objections. Um, as you can see, there is a space at the top to list the hearing date, time, and department. If you are in a county where you can call up the court clerk and they will give that to you over the phone, uh, you can go ahead and transfer that information onto here. Otherwise, if you're in a county where you need to go to the courthouse and get the hearing date and time when you file the paperwork, leave it blank for now. Um, below that, you want to list the address of the court. Either it is the same as noted above, or if it's a different address, then you want to mark other and specify what that address is where the hearing will be taking place. So there are a couple options. Either you're asking for the income withholding order or earnings assignment order to be quashed, or you are asking for the uh, earnings assignment to be modified. So if you're asking for it to be quashed, you want to mark box two, and then below are some of the reasons uh, that you might have for uh, asking for that relief. So A, if you're not the obligor named in the earnings assignment, you would mark box 2A. If there is good cause to recall the uh, earnings assignment, and you would have to show good cause by showing that all four of these factors below exist, you can mark box 2B. Those factors are that it's in the best interest of the children and you'd have to state the reasons why it's in the best interest of the children. If you have already paid the court ordered support fully and on time for the last 12 months, if you do not owe any um, arrearage or back support, and if the service of the earnings assignment would cause extraordinary hardship for you, and you'd have to state those reasons and prove those reasons at a hearing uh, by clear and convincing evidence. So all four of these reasons have to exist if your basis for uh, quashing or setting aside the garnishment form is for good cause. Um, C, if the other parent and you have a written agreement that the support order is to be paid by an alternative method, you could mark that and just attach a copy of that agreement to this form. Mm -hmm. Item three, this is not to set aside or quash. It is if you want to modify the earnings assignment order. And then there's a couple reasons that that may be the relief you're seeking. So if it's A, that the total amount of arrearages claimed as owing is incorrect, then you need to check one or more of the following reasons. Either you did not receive credit for all the payments you made. And if that's the case, you can either attach your statement of pay payment history. And if there are payments that you believe you were made that were not credited. You can identify those in section B, include the date, the amount, and the name of the person paid. It could be because child support has been terminated. This would really apply just to our FL195, the income withholding order. If it includes a child support amount and child support has been terminated, then you want to specify the name of the child, the child's date of birth, the date of termination, and the reason the support was terminated. Or Three, some other reason that you believe that the total amount of arrearages uh, claimed as owing is incorrect. 3B, uh, another reason for modification could be that the monthly payment specified in the earnings assignment is more than half of your total net income each month from all sources. Or 3C, in the monthly uh, arrearage payment creates an undue hardship on you. Um, then you want to describe the hardship and the amount you are able to pay towards the arrearage every month. If you want to change the amount of money that's being deducted for the arrearage every month, you do need to serve this form with a financial statement simplified. That's your form FL-155 or income and expense declaration form FL-150. Keep in mind, whenever we're dealing with spousal support, you want to do the FL-150. Then you want to fill in your name at the bottom, sign and date. You're going to file this at the courthouse and include with your filing to... Um, or more, depending on how many parties are to the case, but a self or a stamped envelope addressed to each party in the case uh, with sufficient postage to mail this form to them. So I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.